The incompetent way to make money in Crossout. Number five, adding value. If you've got some materials and the knowledge and the tools and a bit of time, you can turn your materials into something more useful and then sell it and make a profit. That's what you can do in the real world and you can do it in Crossout too. You can take some... Oh, little boy, there we go. You can take some resources, some scrap and copper and then some white uh, equipment and then you take the knowledge while you need to be able to use the engineer blue press which you have to be a certain level within the engineers. I don't know what it is because I've passed it and it doesn't tell you what it is after you've met the requirement. But there's a, a, some level you can make a little boy. And then a the time, it takes an hour to make a, a blue. And then you make it and you sell it for lots of money. Profit! Easy peasy! Why are you bothering making a video about this? Not quite as simple as that or that. As a matter of fact, if you happen to make a little boy at the moment, the resources will cost you 35 coins. That's the scrap, the copper, the white and quite parts, and then the higher of the workbench costs you 35 coins. And once you've made it, you've got a bright, shiny new little boy to sell, and the best price you're likely to get is a loss of core coins. It's not really a loss, it's it's four coins less than you would have got if you just sold the resources and didn't pay out for the workbench. So you've done you've gone to all the bother of making it, waited for the hour, and you've lost money. If you sell instantly, you've lost even more money, you've lost ten coins. So you have to be very careful when you're building things, crafting things for profit. You've got to check several things to make sure you're going to make money at the end of the day. It's very easy to lose money on this. Why is that? Well, first off is the costs. Resources costs and they're in, they're, they're, they're change over time as well. Sometimes they go up and sometimes they go down. Like today, the, the white parts, the Huntsman, earlier today, the Huntsman was selling at one coin thirty as opposed to 30 cents at the moment. So if I'd gone and bought the bits, on, or rather taken the bits from wherever I made, uh, from whatever mission I got them from, I could have sold them for 130 each, as opposed to combining them in this and then making a, a comparative loss. So the first thing is the resource costs. Then there's the workbench costs. It costs for a blue, it costs five coins per use. That's if you buy the cheapest, the, the smallest number of uses, five use. If you buy 15, it's like 4.50 coins. So always rent the workbenches in the largest amounts. They're, well, I think it's always, but you might want to check. It's always cheaper. But the main reason that you can end up losing money when you're crafting is the market. Remember it's a free market. It's pushed the prices are pushed around by supply and demand of the players. If something is high demand and if demand is outstripping production then the price will go up. Like the junk pay. Junk pay is quite high at the moment because you can't make it normally. It's only because we've got the pyromania event. They think, oh, I should make junk bows. Actually, no, you don't want to make junk bows, but more of that later. But anyway, there's demand for them. There's not many people making them because they require these lighters, so the price has gone up. Oh, come back. Let's all rank it by costs. So not, not only do you have to worry about the resource costs going up and down, you have to worry about the end price going up and down and up and down. Explosive spears are up. Ooh, they're up quite a bit. I'm going to sell one. I made it earlier and it's in my storage. A bit of stockpiling. But I made it, what, two weeks ago? And now I'll make some, hopefully I'll make some money out of it. Yeah, so sledgehammers are up because they're actually used in the Pyromania, the Skinner here, the purple. All purples require several blues in order as part of their 
material components. And the skin is being popular, people want to make it, so they want um, sh sledgehammers. They, they either don't want to wait the hour to make the sledgehammer, or two hours because you need two of them, or they're not in currently in the lunatic faction. They're, they're somewhere else, the scavengers or something. So they can't make it directly, so they go and buy it, and that pushes the price up. So you've got to watch out for things like that. And of course, after after a while, the demand drops off, or or something gets hit by the nerf bat. It's, oh, purples. Yeah. So hovers got hit by the nerf bat in this last update. So today, their price nosedived. Uh, that's the five. Yeah. yeah, it was before the pyromania event. It was up about three hundred and fifty coins. So it's just dropped 70, and now at 280, you're probably making a loss if you're trying to make Icarus's, Icarus 7s. So the market is a real pain, but it's also an opportunity. Uh -huh. So you've got to be quick, you've got to be clever, and you've got to do sums. Talking of demand, Remember, pretty much everyone can make engineers because that's where you start. But you have to be level 10 engineers before you start making lunatics. And you start at zero in all of these, and so you can't use any of the workbenches because you have to be a certain level before they let you use the workbench or make make something on the workbench. Uh, I'm above the minimum level for everything, I think. So I can't show you. 12, 12, yep. So I can make everything currently on the workbenches. By the way, I'm not. Res I'm allowed to make everything on the workbenches, but you got to get to level ten in the engineers before you can be a lunatic or a nomad or a scavenger, and then you have got to be level ten in one of these three before you can be Steppenwolf or Dawn's Children. So fewer people can make the Steppenwolf stuff and Dawn's Children stuff. So that tends to mean their prices are a bit higher. There's more. De well, there's less supply, which tends to push prices up. Engineers get a white workbench. Everyone else gets only gets blue and ye yellow and orange. You can ignore the white workbench. Firstly, you can make the white equipment, which is you don't want to do, because what we require 300 scrap. Well, 300 scrap is going for 18 coins. If I want to buy instantly, 18 coins. Whereas I can buy a cord for 10 cents. So yeah, you, you don't want to be making these things. You don't also you also don't want to be making these things that were part of a reward for some special or other. You get fragments, which you can still buy on the market sometimes. Well, yes, you can you almost always buy it. But the cost 600 scrap. That costs a fair bit. That's uh, six times six. That's 36 coins. And this thing is selling for 18. So it's a big fat loss if you try and make these things. So don't make these. Any of these, pretty much. You might, might want to make, or might want to make one of these, but not for economic reasons. You might want to make one of these because you want to play with the legendary part. It's relatively cheap, but you only get the legendary part for 24 hours. But yeah, it could be fun, but it's not economic, um, economically efficient. In fact, nothing on here, on the white workbench, is worth building. So ignore that. Only start looking when you got to the blues, and you can start making these things. At the moment, on the engineers, you're making losses on pretty much everything because there's so many people who can make them, who can actually do this stuff. So I wouldn't bother making any blue engineery stuff. Well, I've gone out. I've stepped. I've got notes, you know. I don't just rattle off stuff off the top of my head and make it up as I go along. I've got notes, but I've missed a bit. You can make equipment. So there's weapons, there's wheels, there's hardware like engines and coolers and stuff. And there's cabins you can make. Look at the cabins. Let's look at all the cabins. Now some of these cabins you can only only come into the game when you're bought by cash step. These Cerberus, Icebox, Thug, but you can make the Quantum, and that's generally a popular item that you can make money on, and you can make all the others. Uh, yeah, bum, 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 bum. but then there, there are, there are funny odd things. 
like like the legendary container, but you can't generally sell them for profit. Repair kits can sometimes go for make a profit on making them, but you have to do the sums all the time. And then what's this? Containers. Sometimes you can make money on these, but it's quite rare, so I wouldn't worry about doing them. And making them and then opening them up to find the random paint in them that that's a whole nother subject of a video so let's not go into them I wouldn't don't bother touching these things don't make them yeah so that was the old items so do -do -do -do. there's another consideration not only do you have to worry about the resource costs you have to worry about the price you're going to be able to sell the finished item on the market so is it even worth building you also have to worry about the time to craft in blues it takes an hour you can usually get away with that you can spot something on the market go oh the price for that is high i shall make one of those and then i shall sell it and make some money hooray but usually the price hasn't changed that much because don't forget there's there's hundreds and thousands of other players going ooh that little boy not that little boy that's never going to be high price let's have a look at a blue joy let's put some names to these a rapier no that's order them order them by price there we go explosive spear oh that's up i don't know why that's up see sometimes the market just throws you throws you a wobbly not many people have been making explosive spears. Suddenly somebody wants them and the price goes up. I'm going to sell them on them. Da, 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 da. One cent. Undercut cut the competition by one cent and wait. And hopefully that will be some profit. Because I made that explosive spear weeks ago. Yeah, which I'm getting on to. Yes, so blues take an hour to build. And the price, with a bit of luck, won't have changed much, so you can sell them for the profit when you spot them. But there are other players, and they're looking at the market too. And maybe they don't have to make their explosive spear. Maybe they're like me. They had it in stock. And they just gone, oh, market's up, put it on. And by the time you spent an hour building, so many people have put stuff off and sold them. Well, not necessarily sold them, but the price has been pushed down by all the offers hitting the market from people going oh it's worth selling now pop 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 and you come up and go oh, it's, uh, oh the price has gone down i'm not going to make a profit now selling this and it gets even worse blues is an hour yeah, no let's look at the different faction lunix there we go purples six hours take six hours the market can seriously change in six hours and then it gets even worse when you go up to the yellow legendaries 21 hours woohoo yep the market can totally turn around you can look at the market one day and go oh i shall make one of these and it will take you a while to fish up all the parts and all the resources and then 21 hours later when you got the nice bright shiny thing instead of being the highest priced legendary it's now the lowest priced legend oh. so do not make craft stuff with a knife they're selling it for a profit unless you can afford to have all that capital all, all them those resources tied up and sitting in that finished item and it's sitting around waiting to be sold it could be days it could even be weeks before it's worth selling so if it's if all your resources and all your coin is tied up in this one item you either take the hit of the loss in order to get your working capital back again or you don't do anything profitable for well that requires capital for ages until it sells so when you're starting out I would not start building stuff until you've got you can afford to have 200 coins ish so about six blue items you can afford to have them sitting around in your storage waiting to be sold not doing anything else don't start crafting for money until you can do that also don't start crafting for money until at least you can get ooh, lunatics where is it 
until you can at least start making the wheels. Because it takes time to craft, and you tend to put, I, well I do, I make stuff with an eye that it was going, is likely to be at a high price in the nearish future. And stuff that does that is, generally speaking, the wheels in blues, in the nomads as well. The wyvern tends to be sell well and uh, and therefore a higher price because it's part um, a material for the very popular quantum cabin. You need to look around and see what's selling, what's going to be popular, what's what's worthwhile making now. What are people going to buy? They're going to buy the quantum. Well, I haven't got the cash. I can't make a quantum because I haven't I haven't got up the Dawn's Children's uh, reputation, say. But you have got gone up the scavengers, and you can make a wyvern. The wyvern's price with the quantum price high. The wyvern's price will be high because people will be buying them in order to make the quantums in order to sell them. And the quantum's always popular anyway, so there's always a demand for wyverns. So they're a, a good bet to make and expect the price to be good enough to make a profit in the near future. So that was the Nomads. Uh, wheels again. Scavengers in blues. At the moment, Razorback. And then generally the wheels. Why the Razorback? It's an engine, it's not a particularly awesome engine. Why, why is that popular? Well, it's not actually popular for, for its engine abilities. It's popular because there's an event on the Pyromanias and the Skinner, which which lots of people want to try out, so they're trying to make it. One of its materials is the Razorback, so that, that demand for Razorback has pushed its price up at the moment. So you can make these and sell these for a decent... Well, uh, it's, uh, at the start of the event, you could sell them for a lot more. And I did. Hehehe. <laughs> Um, and now the price has come down a bit because the demand has gone down a bit but they're still at the top up the stop there let's have a look at the market in the hardware blues raise back see uh, oh no haven't ordered it now we have almost top of the pile rocket boosters they're yeah, worth it worth selling but then I wouldn't be able to race uh, anyway that, so that was time to craft, that was the problems. And I have mentioned the different blues and purples. And, oh, I haven't mentioned the blues in the Steppenwolves. Wheels sometimes are worth going for. Well, they generally come up. Pilgrim and Genesis, because... Oh, and the Synthesis, but they're all pretty rare. There are lots and lots of people playing who haven't got to the Dawn, Dawn's Children, much less high enough reputation with them to build a synthesis and the synthesis is quite a nice weapon so there's demand for that that's usually quite comes up as a high price high demand high price profitable fewer people making them so that becomes profitable what's next on my list of things to do i do have a list you know i don't just rattle this stuff off make it off the top of my head i have a list sums that's the big problem with with crafting it involves lots and lots of sums not so well it, it does a fair bit for the blues alone you've got to work out how much is that scrap metal going to cost you how much is that copper how much are those whites how much is the workbench rent how much is that all going to cost and then compare it to what markets doing at the moment what you think the market's going to be doing in the future or if you're going to stockpile it you've got to re remember or record how much you've spent on on making the thing so you don't sell it for a loss later much later on and it gets more complicated because the purple stuff you need blues so you could buy these but you still got to add up the price or you could make them on the whole, I, I advise making them because you end up making more profit. You're not paying uh, well, unless unless the price of the you got that's another thing. You got to check the price, which means you you got to go and look at the build. Oh, that's a little boy. Yeah, got to go look at the build for little boy, 
add up its resources, add up its so give you the cost of how much going to if you're going to make it, how much is it going to cost you, and then you've got to compare it. Whoops, where did it go? To how much you can buy it for. If you can buy it cheaper than you can make it, then you buy it. But it's adding lots of things up all the time. Add, 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 add. And then if you want to try crafting and selling oranges, your legendaries, oh, no, it requires purples. So you've got to figure out how much the purple cost you to build it or make it. And oh, it goes on and on and on. And I want to play the game. I don't want to play with spreadsheets adding things up. So, so that's, a, that's a point against crafting for profit. You also have to consider what's popular, what's being, what's what's going to sell well, what's going to be in demand. Well, at the moment it's easy. What's in demand is these things. Well, earlier on today it is dying down now. At the start of the event, these were new and unusual. Everyone wanted to buy one and more make one, or so you could sell sledgehammers and rocket boosters and razorbacks. And I did, and I made money for that. Because the price, the demand had pushed the price right up. There's also things like today there was the update and hovers got nerfed. Let's have a look at the price of hovers. What's it doing at the moment? Get off blue onto the wheels and let's have a look. Icarus seven. You can't make the Icarus four. Icarus seven. There we go. Two hundred ninety. <laughs> Yesterday they were selling. At 370 ish, 350, 370, something like that. So they've dropped 80 coins. And now you could make them and sell them for, expect to sell them for a profit. Now you can't. So you've got to watch out for all these external influences of the market when you're building. And figure that into your calculations somehow. So what with one thing and another, have I mentioned? Yeah, it, crafting isn't as simple as all that. As a rule of thumb, I wouldn't start crafting to sell stuff unless you until you have 300 coins spare. That's 300 coins that you can invest. It's working capital. You're not going to use it for anything else. That's about six blues six blue items because you're gonna end up having them sitting in your storage whilst you wait for the price to come back up and you sell them for a profit so don't start crafting until you've got 300 coins to invest in it don't start crafting until you're at least I've forgotten what level you have to be in the lunatics or or the nomads or the scavengers high enough to start making the wheels because they're the ones you can expect to sell that come up to be profitable the price rises enough to be profitable quite commonly so you need to be a highish level in the lunatics before you even start to think about crafting for profit all that being said I have made quite a lot of money by crafting oh, there goes the spear I received 40 and the materials, the cost was about 35 I believe, some 35 or possibly a bit less, so I've made money there. Ooh. Where was I? Ah oh, yes, all in all it's quite complicated. But I have made money, quite a lot of money, crafting and selling, but I've mostly done it in something I haven't mentioned, avoided mentioning, is the storages. The blueprint storage. Now to build these you need to be level 12 in either any one of the factions that isn't engineers. Engineers can't make them but lunatics, nomads, scavengers, stepmores, dawn children, they can all make them. Whichever one you choose. So it, they cost a lot of money. The materials cost is quite a lot but there's no other equipment to buy so there's no other calculations. It's one shot, one screen, and you can do all the sums because you can check the prices, check the prices, check the prices. Oh, that's worth mentioning. Here you go 
10 for 5 coins and you need a 1,000 of them. <laughs> so it's 500 coins, it's 600, 700 coins, plus, wow, well, in, that's including the workbench. 700, 600 coins just in resources. But they sell well. There's a constant demand for it. Because you can't increase your... Uh, Blueprint storage. I can make six at the moment. Well, store six blueprints. You start with four. Four. Let's see. I, yeah, I'm going to say four. Because the first, to get the fifth one, you spend one blueprint storage. To get the sixth one, no, fifth one takes two. No. Yeah, takes two. And then the seventh one takes three. So it's there's a const. Everybody wants to store their their designs up, don't you? You will certainly want more than four slots. So there's a constant demand for these storage spaces, and well, blueprint storage, and then there's storage space. Again, the first one gets you 25 extra. The second one gets you 25 extra, but you've got to have two pieces of storage expansion to get the. Th 75 more than the starting one to get up to 350 storage spaces. You need three. Uh, that's a lot. But constant demand. So there's a huge de there's a demand for them. Not that many people make them. And periodically the price will spike when demand outstrips supply. And when when that happens, where am I looking for? There we go. When that happens, the price can go up. Engine three. 874 after tax don't forget tax always 10 percent so so i'll get 800 coins out of it and the material costs were 700 so that's 100 coins ka -ching. relatively simply of course it takes 21 hours so you end up stockpiling them a bit and it takes lots of resources but it's straightforward and bags you large chunks of cash that's it that's it oh i think i have nothing let me check my list yep oh, i've said it all everything you need to know about crafting for money well i hope this this video has been useful to you if it has been if it's gonna help you make a profit hit the thumbs up encourage me to, and subscribe encourage me to make more of these these videos and happy crafting i hope it's profitable for you but not as profitable as it's going to be for me hey <laughs>